One of my biggest issues that I have with us Jamaicans is that we are too blinded by this facade called diehardedness. So whether the party that we prefer is destroying the country, not good enough for the country, it no matter to us. At that party, I would say, we no busy with them one, it could be lying, it could be thief, criminal, it no matter. At that way, I say, because we're so blind by this. The head of government in the country and the head of the parliament in the speaker as spouses does not sit well with the tradition in our parliamentary democracy and not just Jamaica, across the, the world that has our system of having a speaker who is independent of the government. This is a very important matter because the speaker is the umpire. Had We had some concerns, but we decided not to take an issue with it after she was appointed. Leader of Opposition Business didn't object at the time and we, I was prepared to work with it. But having seen mm -hmm. what has happened since, exactly. with these reports not being tabled on a timely basis, Integrity Commission reports, some of them being sent to the Oversight Committee, which the government controls, which will, they may never be published in that, in, in, in that eventuality. And seeing that the opinion that they're relying on from the Attorney General, given to the Parliament, they won't share it with the public and with us to know what, whether or not the justifications are sound in law. I just feel it's a very bad situation that has happened under her watch, and I thought I should bring it to the public's attention that this is a matter of concern. Have and you I'm not the alone. It was a speaker. Have I what? Have you written to the Prime Minister raising concern about the issue? I raised it in the Parliament today. And so, you know, I, when I write to the Prime Minister, he never replies. Wisdom and subscribers, in all respect, we have to give this man credit. Is this the man people are saying don't have any vision, no plan for the citizens of Jamaica, my people? Come on, viewers and subscribers. First, let me say this. I'm not a supporter of the People National Party. Also, Jamaica Labour Party, my people. I'm only here to highlight all the current issues that are facing our Jamaican citizens presently. And more importantly, all my viewers and subscribers know how JBG go to work. We're not even no bias thing around here, my people. So, viewers and subscribers, Opposition Leader Mark Golden stated that Julian Onis should step aside, my people. Do you agree? Let me know in the comment section. Not only that, Prime Minister Anjanone's wife, Juliet Onis, the host speaker, sitting and reports that should be tabled in Parliament, my people. Visa subscribers, don't you find that suspicious? Don't you think something added, my people? This is not about a party. This is not about politics, my people. This is about we, the citizens, our tax money be taken from us, feeding these politician pockets, and they made it, my people. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the roads. The roads are so deplorable, modern time, and people still begging for water. People have no lights. Look at the hospital, no equipment. Look at the school, one textbook cost almost 10 grand, my people. God, oh God, I feel it to my heart. One of my biggest issues that I have with us Jamaicans is that we are too blinded by this facade called diehardedness. So, whether the party that we prefer is destroying the country, not good enough for the country, it no matter to us. At that party, I would say, we no busy with them one, it could be lying, it could be thief, criminal, it no matter. At that way, I say, because we're so blind by this. Now, I've been scrolling through social, social media, and when I actually um, saw Mr. Mark Goli making his, his budget presentation, some people are saying, oh, he doesn't have a plan, he doesn't have a plan. And the problem is, though, the man has him planning now, but guess what? You people are so used to people telling you lies. You used to people giving you what you want for your all oh, and making promises and false promises that they can't fulfill. That's what we are used to. So, oh, next year in this budget, this is what we have, I plan to do. I plan to make this bridge down here. Or I plan to make Portmore Parish. Or I plan to do this and to do that. In five years, I plan to make this and went and it not come to pass. These plans are not be able to fulfill. We cause the people them to then lie, lie because they can't fulfill the plans that they actually stated in their manifesto. Now, if you listen carefully, if you're listening to Mr. Mark's golden budget or his plans, you're going to see where he mentioned that he wants to, you know, take, he want to put accountability at the forefront. Accountability and the transparency. And I think that is very strategic and that is very smart because guess what? Corruption is one of the biggest downfall of Jamaica. Hmm? 
I am a person that I actually love democracy. And with democracy, you have to have transparency to give the people, make the people them see what I want, make it an open book where the people them can see and can actually have them say and whatever decisions that, you know, is going to be made for the country. And you know, just sit down with your little six elite people them on the side say, okay, then I don't want, I don't want to make the decision for the country. Let the people have a say. That is democracy. Let the people them have a say, and that is what Mr. Mark Rowan is referring to when he's referring to accountability and the transparency because that is the biggest issue that Jamaica has because there's a lot of corruption going on because we don't have accountability and transparency. We want to see what is taking place. Before you actually sign any deal to actually say, all right, may I go sell the go to Thailand, may I go sell the airport, make up seem like your vote, make a vote, let the public vote. Show them the pros and the cons of selling the airport. What Jamaica benefit? What is the benefit for us Jamaicans for selling the airport? What are the cons? Put it out there and then let the people vote. You know, just sit down in there because, okay, then you are the leader. You're the leader to serve the people. Not for just sit down and make your own decision. And that is a problem that we are having. We are so blindsided by, you know, this diehardness that we fail to see where them people are trying to match up the country. Listen. Me no wine babble and political. If I'm involved in something political, let me be the speaker of the house because I'm gonna be in the middle. Me no business about this is somebody a labor right. Me no business about this is somebody a PNP. What are you gonna do for Jamaica? How are you going to move Jamaica forward? Do you understand? And that is what we need. If you can tackle corruption, you Jamaica man, Jamaica that Jamaica would be such a great place, a nice place, because our biggest issue is corruption. Doing secret things. Who not thief this, who not hide this, who not hold up on this, because okay, then this a family member, they want to bring the nepotism, they want to do all sort of all them manner of evil. We are tired of it. This is a democratic country. You want democracy. Democracy is involving the people. Let the people vote. You see that strategy that Mark Golden did? I, I respect him for that because he go outside and he step in front of the people. And that is what you should have done before. Interact with the people. He scored big right there with the people in my Jamaica now because he stepped out in, instead of staying in a parliament. So Andrew, Mr. Honorable Andrew Holness, because you know, he's a prime minister, most honorable Andrew Holness, he still, he actually did my favor, basically. That's why the Bible says all things work together for good. Because he's thinking more about and going to disrupt Mark's speech, but Mark actually, you know what I mean? Put a rally back and say, all right, then we are going to the street, and that is what the people want. The people want interaction. They don't want an interaction only when you are a voting time, you know, yeah, vote for this, and we are going to plan for this, we are going to plan for them because you know, people are so gullible. Only thing you want here, 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 lies, promises of lies, 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 lies. Okay, then, may I go do this soon? This time, may I go to your country? You know, people are coming that discuss, but he doesn't have a plan. I know me not here, we. I'm going to go with myself in the country. You're not here because you're not listening to here. You're just listening to hear what you want to hear. Right? So, because anything that probably marks you, because you, you claim, you identify yourself as a JLP, you know, you just go to bash, you don't want to listen to nothing. Right? Me and one of them, I'm for Jamaica. So, make it two of them come and let me hear what I want for Jamaica. I don't want to go and bash me. I know what I want. I know what I Oh, yeah, yeah, PNP. Because how is that say? Yeah, PNP. No, I'm not PNP. I'm not GLP. I'm not UIC. I'm not NDM. I am just somebody who loves my country. I don't like biasness. I don't like corruption. I detest those. I abhor corruption. I don't like favoritism. I don't like that. Me have my one son, and if he, when him wrong, he get me I tell it say no, you know you're wrong. And me I tell him he wrong over other people, over other children. Me I tell him say right then you're wrong for doing this to that person. Not because he, yeah my son, me I go just take off it. No, me have to tell us say you're wrong. And if you can't say that to my one son, me busy about jail, about labor, and busy I care about Jamaica. But this move that Mister Margolin did it was, it was, I have to give him his kudos for that. This is what we want you to do, Mister Margolin, and also Mister. Honorable Andrew Oles as well. Because I said I'm not biased. Go out there, interact with the people. Be transparent. The people are tired of the corruption. We need transparency. And that is what Mr. Mark Golin is actually saying in his budget speech. The part we want to feel to hear, we want to hear where my problem, we want to do this and that. They want to go tell them a lie because, you know, things and time change. When five years come up and then this no happen, I go say, Ma, can I ever you this say? You have to do this with Jamaica. You tell lie because you want to vote in. The man make him tell you how it is. Make him tell you where my God is going to tackle 
make people actually take accountability for their action and be more transparent. We want more transparency in this country. We're tired of the corruption. We are. Make me, make me the speaker of the house. Make me the speaker of the house. Yeah, yeah. That no sound bad. 